Hey guys, what's up? As you know, I've been working with Tissue Cultures for the majority of 2022, and as we're moving in 2023, I can only assume that Tissue Cultures are gonna be here to stay, and that they are probably gonna be more accessible to the public. Now, I know there has been some ups and downs, but I'm here to give you the ultimate tissue culture guide because I think I've nailed it. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna take something that looks like this and acclimate it down to something like this. Let's get into this video and let's get started. What I have here is actually a Calathea and it's been in this bottle for approximately six months now and um, just never got around to doing anything with it until today. So when you receive your tissue cultures, they can either be in a bottle like this or they can be in little bags and I've shown you guys before but I'll insert a clip as to how the Thai constellations did arrive. Now those ones did arrive in little bags and it was recommended that we take them out and deflask them right away. So with this one, I'm actually going to take it downstairs and deflask them and uh, I guess just walk you through how I deflask my tissue cultures. All right, so tip number one, when you receive your tissue cultures and they arrive to you in this bottle, please go ahead and remove them because it's going to be a little bit of a struggle for you to get the plants out of the bottle because the, uh, the opening is very small. Um, if you receive them in a bag, it won't be an issue, but uh, I actually considered breaking this at one point because it was just um, tough to remove. Now, how I actually managed to remove the uh, the plants from out of here was I did rinse it down with um, warm water just to break up the agar and then I was able to kind of like do the ketchup thing you know when you're <laughs> anyways you know what I mean but um, I actually I'm pleasantly surprised because I actually have three Calatheas so here's one of them The roots look pretty good. I'm going to remove as much debris as I can off of this one. And this one, it's like a little baby one. Not too bad. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. Here's the second one. Again, just I'm going to take some time and remove the debris out of here off camera. And there was this one. Very cute. So when I actually first received the tissue cultures, they were about this size and I'm pretty surprised that um, I now have three and they're like little plantlets now. So I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and remove the debris and then I'm going to soak them in distilled water with hydrogen peroxide just to kind of kill off any bacteria that I may have introduced to the plants when I was rinsing them and then I'll show you guys how I'm going to acclimate them. All right, so these tissue cultures have been soaking in some hydrogen peroxide for about 10-15 minutes now, so they are good to go. Now, in the past, I have placed my tissue cultures in soil, and I have had success, but when it came to the Thai constellation, it was just a no-go. It was no good, so everybody needs to go out and grab themselves a bag of fluval stratum. This can be picked up at your pet store, um, an aquarium store. I don't know if it's available in a reptile store, but I did buy this at an aquarium store and I can't remember how much it was, but if I find it on Amazon, I will link it down below for you. This is what worked for me. This worked when my Thai constellations were struggling. This worked when my Florida beauty decided to rot because I overwatered it and now it's growing. So highly recommend this substrate it just I don't know what it is it just works <laughs> so now it comes down to what are we gonna house it in so if your plantlets are very small and it can actually fit into something like this I would highly recommend it this is great because you can control the humidity um, with this little wheel here or if your plantlets are too big like the way mine are you can get these little cups at the dollar store and these work just fine so what you can do is plant them up and put um, saran wrap over top or if they're really tall you can just tape the uh, the plantlets like this 
Um, in my case, I'm just going to see if I can just kind of stick it down as best I can. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do for my plantlets is to just save the cups and try to plant them as far down as I can and just put saran wrap over top. Now, the best way to use fluval stratum is to actually have a layer of lica on the bottom. Now, you're probably wondering, but if you're using something like this, can the lica still work? Yes, yes it can. <laughs> because some of the uh, lica balls are fairly large and they will cover these holes. So you can go ahead and put a small layer um, on the bottom and then plant up your plantlets like this with the um the stratum so i wish i wonder if i can actually do it with these, these guys because hmm. if i can that will save a lot of space let's see You know what? I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to try to put the uh, Calatheas in this just to save space. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these guys up and I'll be back to show you the finished product. I'm aborting this plan simply because my plantlets are actually too big. So this guy right over here, the new growth would actually be crushed by the lid. So I'm opting to put it in the cup. Now there's a couple of things that you can do. One would be to take a secondary cup, put it over top, and then seal the edge. And there you go, 100% humidity. Um, if you have extra lids laying around like this from another um, nursery set, you just go ahead and pop it on top. And if you want 100% humidity, you can go ahead and just seal the uh, the holes with some tape. And then when it starts to grow, just remove the tape so that you can have more airflow. Or the other option would be to just bag everything. So these guys, I think this one will get the secondary cup like this. And these two, I'm just going to bag them because I need to save space. I, I don't have that much space in my uh, my area, so they're just gonna be bagged. All right, so before we move on, I wanna talk about watering your plantlets. This setup is actually very great because it controls the amount of water that you need so long as you're aware of your um, water reservoir. So the way that I have this set up, the Leica is on the bottom, my plants are sitting on top, so I'm actually going to fill this up to right about here, the first layer of lica with water. That way, the lica is going to use the capillary reaction and wick the water up and give enough water to the plant so it doesn't drown itself and end up with root rot. So this setup is great. I haven't had an issue so far and um, they're thriving. Like, check this guy out. So within the next couple of weeks, you're going to notice that your plantlet is developing a lot of fuzzy roots, which is exactly what we want because soon after that, it's going to start developing new leaves for you. Now, it can end there or it can continue. Now, what I mean by that is some people are more comfortable leaving their plant in stratum and that's perfectly fine and it's okay. But if you're not, I'm going to go ahead and insert a clip as to how I transferred my Thai constellations from stratum to soil. Let me go ahead and just remove this. So. All right. And whatever is attached to it, I'm just going to leave it alone. I don't want to mess with it. This is how it came out and this is how it's going to go in. So this looks really good lots of fuzzy roots and i'm here for that so and dog hair <laughs> that's fine <laughs> all right so this guy is doing great um what i am going to do is actually dust it with some myco you guys know this is the one that i like to use gonna dust it and then I will pot it up and 
And these are the containers that I will be using today. Um, you can purchase these on Amazon. I actually really like them because it has its own humidity dome and you can set it to, you know, 100% humidity or start acclimating it down. So this is what uh, it'll be potted up in. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and pot these guys up and uh, show you guys the finishing results. I do wanna mention one thing and that is these guys are gonna be residing in 100% humidity, if I haven't mentioned that already. So the hole is closed. And the other thing is also because the substrates that I was using were already soaking overnight in water and HB 101, there's no reason for me to add additional water to these plants. So these guys are going to just stay where they are, except over there, and just live its best life. And I think it'll be fine just because it was coming from stratum that was, as you can see, like the condensation in here. So they were coming from something that was high in humidity and had like enough moisture. And I did my best to... Uh, hydrate the substrates that it's currently in now so I, I think the transition will be okay and um, even when I was potting them up I was still like when I would touch the soil it still felt um, moist so I think it'll be fine and if it's receiving a hundred percent humidity it, it should be okay I'm pretty sure it'll be okay and here we are in present day and my tissue culture is doing great I'm very happy and satisfied with the growth development it's grown significantly in size and I have a new leaf over here and that my friends is how I successfully acclimated my tissue cultures so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye